Bullying must stop and bullies must be punished. I just hear too many examples of people being bullied and not enough, if anything, is even being done about it. Like, for example, here in Canada, like there's some people that have ended up taking their lives because of bullying, such as in, Can in Canada. Several years ago, there was a girl named Amanda Todd who took her own life when she was 15 years old because when she was younger than that, she posed topless for someone on the internet and they basically used those pictures to harass and blackmail her. And people harassed her and called her a slut and all kinds of other horrible things. She got harassed so badly that she ended up taking her own life. Another example of a Canadian girl that took her own life because of bullying was Retea Parsons. She was, I don't know all the circumstances with her, but basically I heard that, you know, she was drinking as a teenager and that she was engaged in some sexual acts that it's, that it actually sounds like she might have been even raped, sexually assaulted. Sounds like it was sexual acts against her will, which equates uh, rape. And even though it was against her will, she ended up still getting bullied for it. And she ended up taking her own life as well, too. And I've heard about famous YouTubers that have been, that have been bullied. Like two examples of famous YouTubers I've heard about being bullied. Um, Jesse V, who's a Canadian YouTuber, as well as Mandy V, her sister. They were both bullied. And I remember specifically one example from Mandy, from one of Mandy v, V's videos was an example of how when she was in a classroom, another student threw, threw a chair at her and a teacher saw this happen and the teacher refused to do anything about it. She didn't do anything to this girl for throwing a chair at another student. And sticking with Mandy V, I remember in one of her videos, she was also talking about, it might've been the same video. She was also talking about how um, she was bullied extremely severely to the point that when she told her parents about it, her and her parents went down to the police station. And I think if I remember correctly, they, they all went to the school and the conclusion of the police was that girls will be girls, boys will be boys. There's nothing they can do about it. Even though these people that were bullying her in some cases were being violent, they were harassing the hell out of her. And a lot of the times, nothing was done about it. I think they should pass a law, if they haven't already, but they, then they should pass a law making it that any school staff member, such as a school teacher, school principal, vice principal, guidance counselor, librarian like any any school staff member who witnesses bullying is required by law to do something about it to take some kind of action against that student even if it's just going and telling another teacher telling the principal that that student uh that they witnessed bullying but I think if a staff member in a school witnesses bullying and they refuse to do anything about it, they should be fired. This whole attitude about girls be girls, boys be boys, I'm sorry. That to me is a bunch of BS and that just doesn't fly.
teachers, principals, guidance counselors, uh, and parents, and the police all need to do something about bullying. Even if it means kicking students out of, kicking bullies out of school and throwing bullies in jail. If that's what it takes to uh, straighten these bullies up, then let's start doing it. But bullying must stop. I've just heard about too many people being victimized by bullying, and it's just not right.